Hello, today we are going to learn how to construct the involute curve of a given circle. The involute of a circle is the path traced out by a point on a straight line that rolls around the given circle. So the first step is to draw a vertical diameter. And now we are going to draw a horizontal tangent line above the circle. We will call the tangent point 0, 12, as can be seen here on the screen. So to continue, we are going to transport the diameter of the circle 3 and 1 7 times in total, which is approximately equal to pi. So setting the compass on the tangent point 0, 12, and with the length of the diameter we, of the radius of the circle, we scribe an arc to the left, obtaining a new point. And now from this point, we are going to transport the same diameter two and one seventh more times. And this length is the approximate geographical length of the circumference of the given circle. So the first step to obtain one seventh part of the diameter is to draw a red line starting from the right side of the last line segment at, the, at any angle as shown here in the video. So now using our ruler, we will mark the line into seven equal parts marked one centimeter each as shown in the video here. And now we are going to join the last mark to the left end of the line segment. We will draw one parallel line to this line passing from the previous mark obtaining the one seventh length that we are looking for. Now that we have this length we are going to transport it onto the tangent line obtaining the total length of the circumference or the second one seventh that we were looking. So now that we have the, the total length of the circumference shown in red segment 2 pi r, we are going to divide it into 12 equal parts using Thales theorem again. So now from point 12, we will draw a random line at any particular angle and we're going to divide this line into 12 parts 12, using gaps of 1 centimeter as you can see here. And now that we have our 12 divisions of this line, we join the final division to the point 0, 012 as shown. And now using our ruler, we draw parallel lines to this line through the successive points, obtaining 12 divisions on the horizontal line above, which we will name points 1 to 12. Okay, so the next step is to divide our given circle into 12 equal parts. So we are going to draw a horizontal perpendicular diameter to the vertical one, as can be seen here. The next step, setting our compass to the length of the radius of the circle, we are going to mark this length onto the circumference eight times using the extremities of the diameters as centers. So setting the compass on the point zero twelve or the top extremity, we mark this onto the circle two times, describing two arcs, getting two new points. Now setting our compass on the bottom extremity of the vertical diameter, we'll get another two points, describing an arc to the left and to the right. And now finally, setting the compass to the extremity of the horizontal diameter, we get another, and scribing arcs above and below, we'll get another two points. And finally, on the right extremity of the horizontal diameter, we'll get another two points. So these are eight new points plus the four extremities, which divides our circle into 12 equal parts, which we name from one to 11, as can be seen here. Now we are going to join the divisions through the center point, forming 12 equal sectors, as can be seen here. Joining point 1 to point 7 through the center point, and 11 to 5, as you can see. And now we have our circle divided into 12 equal sectors. 
The next step is to draw perpendicular tangent lines from each point on the circle, starting at point one and going in an anti-clockwise direction until we reach point 11. So again, from point two, we draw a perpendicular tangent line. From point three, another perpendicular tangent line. And we continue with this process until we reach point 11. And our last one here, perpendicular tangent line to point 11. So the next step is setting our compass on the center point of the circle and with a radius length, center point, division one. We scribe an arc to the right, cutting our first perpendicular tangent line at a new point which we will call P1. And now we will continue this process. So setting the compass on the center point and with a radius center point division two, we scribe an arc to the right, cutting our perpendicular tangent line two. And again, with center point radius center point uh, division three, we scribe an arc to the Cutting our third perpendicular division. Perpendicular tangent line. Obtaining our third point. All of these points will be points on the involute curve that we are looking to draw. So we continue this process for the 12 divisions. Again, setting the compass in the center and with a radius zero division seven, we transport this seven division onto the perpendicular tangent line seven. And division eight onto perpendicular tangent line eight. Eleven onto perpendicular tangent point eleven, and finally division twelve. I transport it onto the perpendicular tangent line twelve, obtaining twelve new points, which we will call from P one to P twelve, as you can see here highlighted in red. And the final step, by freehand or with using a French curve ruler, we are going to join the highlighted points in red with a thicker line. So here you have the involute curve of a given circle. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to your YouTube channel. And if you would like to, you can always support us by pressing the super thanks button. Until the next video, thank you very much.